Hi friends, it's Dana here. Today I'm gonna read you a story that was recommended by my college roommate, Julie. Her and her daughter love Elmer the Patchwork Elephant and this particular story has such a good message about the bounty of love. And so here we go, I'm gonna read to you Elmer and the Rainbow, it's by David McKee. Elmer, the patchwork elephant, was in a cave, sheltering from a storm. With him were other elephants and birds. Thunder and lightning are exciting, said Elmer, and after the storm we might see a rainbow. When the storm had stopped, Elmer and the birds went outside. Elmer felt drops on his head. Oh, he said, it's still raining. Perhaps it's the rainbow crying, said a bird. It's come out too soon and lost its colors. Look! In the sky was a pale shape, a rainbow without colors, said Elmer. That's awful. We must do something. I'll give it my colors. To do that, you'll have to find where it touches the ground, said a bird. Nobody knows where that is. Well, what are we waiting for, said Elmer. Let's start searching. You go that way and I'll go this. What are you looking for, Elmer, called the lion. The end of the rainbow, said Elmer. Have you seen it? Which end, asked Lion. Either end, said Elmer. The rainbow's lost its colors. I can give it mine, if we can find the end. A rainbow without colors? That is serious, said Tiger. Come on, Lion, we'll start. We better search. You two rabbits. We'll roar when we find it, said Lion. A little later, Elmer met Giraffe. Elmer, she said, there's something strange in the sky. That's the rainbow, said Elmer and he told her about the lost colors. Can you see where it touches the ground? Giraffe stretched very high. No, I can't, she said. What will happen to you, Elmer, if you give it your colors, she asked. But Elmer was already on his way to get the elephants. The elephants were still in the cave. We're not coming out with that thing in the sky, they said. But when Elmer explained the problem, the elephants were keen to help. What about Elmer? What happens if he gives away his colors? asked an elephant. I suppose he'll be like us, said his friend. Better that than a colorless rainbow. Elmer was with the monkeys when the birds returned. No luck so far, they said. We'll keep looking. Nobody can find the end of the rainbow, said a monkey, but it will be fun to try. By the time Elmer arrived at the river, everyone was looking for the rainbow. Hello, fish, he called. I don't suppose you know where the rainbow starts, do you? Usually at the waterfall, said a fish, but today there's some pale thing there. That's the rainbow, said Elmer. Come on, to the waterfall. Sure enough, a colorless rainbow was coming from the waterfall. The search was over. Elmer, the fish, and the crocodiles called loudly to the other animals. Then, without waiting, Elmer went behind the waterfall. By the time the other animals arrived, Elmer was out of sight. Colors gradually began to appear in the rainbow. Hurrah, cheered the animals. But what about Elmer, whispered an elephant. As if in answer, Elmer appeared from behind the waterfall. He still had his colors. The animals cheered again. But Elmer, said an elephant, you gave your colors to the rainbow. How can you still have them? Elmer chuckled. Some things you can give and give and not lose any. Things like happiness or love or my colors. <laughs> On the way home, Tiger said, I wondered if the rainbow would be patchwork. Elmer grinned. Don't even think about it, said Lion. We have enough trouble with a patchwork elephant. This time, Elmer laughed out loud. <laughs> All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that story about Elmer the Patchwork Elephant and now his patchwork rainbow. <laughs> thanks so much for reading with me and thanks for the great recommendation, Julie. Have a great day. Bye.